In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Arnold's environment types, fog and atmosphere to quickly and easily add a little drama to your scenes like this. This environment type we will look at is fog. There's two ways to add fog to your scene. First, go to create Arnold volume atmosphere and click fog. Next, what you want to do is click your render settings, twirl open the environment, drag fog to atmosphere. Now fog will be in your scene. I'm going to go ahead and clear this and delete the fog. The easiest way to do it is to open your render settings. Just click this arrow here and add fog. It'll add it automatically to the atmosphere and it will automatically create a texture for you. Now that we have fog added to the scene, I'm going to take a look at the fog settings. So if we middle mouse click on the fog texture, that'll open up the network editor. Uh, so we have color, distance, and height. Color is what color do you want the fog to be? Distance is basically how thick or how dense the fog is. And height is how high the fog will rise from the ground. Ground normal, that changes the orientation of the fog, and ground point is where you want the fog to start. So let's say I didn't want it to start at the bottom of the scene, I wanted it to start five inches up. So I'm gonna go ahead and render out this scene at one inch, five inch, and 15 inch, so you can see the difference in density. And I'll do the same for height and ground normal too, so you can see changing these numbers, how it changes the orientation of the fog. The second environment type is atmosphere. In this scene here, I have some cubes in a cloner and have a spotlight and a quad light just for fill. The same way we added fog to the scene is the same for atmosphere. Go ahead and click the render settings, environment, atmosphere volume. And you can see now atmosphere has been added. I'm gonna go ahead and click render so you can see what the default values look like. Now that we have atmosphere added to our scene, let's take a look at the settings. So middle mouse click the atmosphere texture. That'll open up your network editor. And here we have color, density, attenuation, and anisotropy. Color is what color the atmosphere will be. Density is how thick that will be. Attenuation deals with the light fall off. And anisotropy is the scattering of the light. So for this scene, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I'm going to do a light blue color and density I'll set to 0.25 first. I'll go ahead and render out all these at different values so you can visualize what each one of these changes does. That we can do with the atmosphere volume and this works on fog as well is we can attach a noise to that and this just helps to break those patterns up so i'm going to go ahead and grab a cinema 40 noise we'll attach that to the density uh, you could also attach that to color if you want to vary the color uh, and i'm going to go ahead and set the scale to this to 800 and i'll go ahead and render that out so you can see how that changes the atmosphere volume 